afternoon friends today is Sunday July the 22nd of 2018 you know I want to share something with you who are my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus all of us at some times in our life we have ups and downs a friend of mine one time compared it to having seasons in your life sometimes you're going through summer sometimes you're going through spring other times you're going through fall and there's times that you go through winter But I want to share something with you that is a truth. It is a spiritual truth. And if you will put this truth into your daily walk with Christ, I believe it will help you stay out of winter and fall and keep you in spring and summer. First of all, Jesus told the woman at the well that the water in that well she would drink and would be thirsty again from that water. And Jesus told her that he had water that if she drank would never thirst again. Of course, she was thinking in the physical realm and he was speaking of the spiritual realm. And that, real quickly, is what and the reason why people who are still dead spiritually cannot make connection with God because God is a spirit. God is spirit. Jesus told us that. We are flesh, driven by our flesh, our flesh is the loudest thing about us. Things that we want to see, hear, touch, smell, and do, that's what screams at us. But the small, still voice of our spirit is almost always ignored. It's almost like if you have two children and one of them is loud and boisterous and always wants it their way and the other child is a very quiet shy child and wouldn't dare think about voicing what they really want well of course you're going to cater uh you know to this boisterous kid just to make him shut up while the small voice of the shy child you about have to get them to themselves to find out what they want it's the same way in the spirit you have to get alone to hear the voice of your spirit and how God is trying to talk to you through your spirit now I'm going to show you how this will revolutionize your life and give you a more joyful walk with Christ day to day. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord 
is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The key word there is joy. What gives you joy? Does your job, does your career, does your family, all of these things are wonderful, but they do not give you the strength you need to walk daily victoriously in the Lord Jesus Christ. To walk victorious in your spiritual walk. But it is the joy of the Lord that will give you strength. So how do you get this joy? You know, the disciples was all happy and excited that the demons were subject to them in the name of Christ. And Jesus said, don't rejoice that demons are subject to you. You rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. You rejoice that you have eternal life. So the way you can have joy in the Lord is to rejoice that you have eternal life abiding in you. The Word of God also instructs us to speak to ourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in our heart unto the Lord. And see, the devil comes along and will tell you and you hear it all the time that people who talk to themselves are crazy. No. If anybody knows you better than anybody, it's yourself. And there is nothing wrong with you sitting down and having yourself a good conversation to get your thoughts straight. To make sure that you're living the life that you want to live. You know, when you go off and get mad and might accidentally cuss somebody out or go do something out of spite and revenge, there's nothing wrong with you sitting down and saying, boy, let me tell you something. What you did was wrong. You need to go apologize to them because that's what God wants you to do. There ain't nothing wrong with that. What, are you gonna wait around for somebody to call you up and say, hey, you did wrong, you need to go apologize. You ought to have enough of God's word in you to let you know and the Holy Spirit will convict you when you've done right or wrong. See, God's Word says to speak to yourself. Speak to yourself in Psalms, which is in the Bible, and hymns, get your old hymn book out, and spiritual songs, singing in the Spirit. Singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord. It's that part of you that gets along with God. And you're not distracted by your iPhone or your iPad. Or your flip phone. Or your golf game. Or your football games. Or your whatever hobbies. It's where you get along. You, as a spirit, get along with God who is spirit. And you sing praises unto the Lord. You quote and sing the Psalms, which is in the Old Testament. Psalms, hymns. You know, like the song, On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. How I love that old cross. It's so dear and so best that a world 
lot of lost sinners was slain. Hey, so I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross <laughs> and exchange it someday for a crown. Hey, thank God the book of Psalms says to us, if you've got breath, make a joyful <laughs> noise to the Lord. Well, I'm singing a lot higher than I normally do because of the air conditioning in this old loud truck. I normally would sing that a lot lower. But you know the song, some glad morning when this life is o'er i'll fly away to a home on god's celestial shore i'll fly away i'll spare y'all but the point is sing songs unto the lord singing and making melody in your heart to the lord and when you worship the lord when you worship the Lord, God's word says that God inhabits the praises of his people. And when you begin to praise God, God shows up. God draws nigh unto you because you are singing worship and praise to him. And he inhabits the praises of his people. When you draw nigh to God, God draws nigh to you and the devil flees. So friend, I'm about to end this video and you need to write these things down that I have just shared with you. I find myself a lot of times at home, in the shower, working on my car, just singing a song. It lifts up your spirit. It reminds you that you are a child of the Most High God. It reminds you that you are ambassadors of Jesus Christ on this earth. It reminds you that you have a ministry of reconciliation. I tell you, you take your eyes off of your problems and you start looking at other people's problems and how you can help them with their problems, <laughs> your joy will just explode because now you're not concentrating on yourself. You're concentrating on the needs of those around you. And then you are truly becoming a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we're here for. We are to be vessels of the Holy Spirit, vessels of the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your light so shine that others can see that God lives inside of you. And when you do the works of the Lord, your Father is glorified. Friend, share this video, watch it again, write down these scriptures because this is the way that you have a joyful day in the Lord. As the prophet said, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Well, friend, I'm going to end this video now. You have a joyful, worshipful day in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the Holy Ghost. That's what God's Word says. It is joy and praise 
and worship in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost lives inside of us. The blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from our sin. Our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. A day will come when the trumpet of God shall sound. God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. And we shall forever be with the Lord. We will be transformed into the likeness of Christ. For we shall see him as he is. Friend, speak to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. I love you. God bless you. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.